Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Muxman and today I'm going to be explaining the Hypixel pit economy and basically how to build up your net worth. So I didn't need to get some terms out of the way, so let's start with uh let's start out with pure. Pure is basically how items are priced, and so an item could be worth like 10 pure. Now what pure is really depends on inflation and it also depends on is there a war being fought are there a lot of people grinding out that pure right now so prices can fluctuate a lot but basically uh usually pure prices stay the same so right now uh one pure is one pb which a pb is a pants bundle so 10 whatchamacallit 10 pants or you have like one feather which counts as basically one pure or you have nine cactus which counts as one pure and so all of these are basically just pure if someone says i'm selling an item for 10 pure it could be 90 cactus it could be uh 10 feathers or it could be uh 10 pbs so basically this is how you measure items now starting out in the pit uh, at a very low prestige, your number one goal is to prestige up and keep leveling up. What I see a lot of people do, or a lot of low prestiges, is actually like grind out like gold and stuff, start buying pure and everything. They're doing all that right. They're buying pure before they prestige and stuff, but then they buy like a 1 PB item or like a four fresh item and it just sucks and it has low lives they can't repair it they can't really do anything with it and they can't drop down with it because the item sucks so like they're just wasting all this pure on it uh which is horrible so this is basically going to be a strategy on how you guys should be building up your net worth at a very low prestige but also how not to waste it on horrible items uh, so to start off, what I think you guys need to be doing for a first couple of prestiges is taking all your gold and just buying fresh. I really suggest fresh pants, like 15,000 gold. You can probably get it for 13,000 gold. You can be buying like three fresh pants a day. So you only got to grind out 45 K a day and then like buy like a bow or something like that, uh, which are like three, four K. Uh, that should be your number one goal is to grind out as much fresh as possible and just keep stacking it up and not not buy any mystics like don't buy a, I see people who buy like a bow with like pants radar 3 thinking oh okay I'm gonna be able to just like expand my net worth and like just get so much pure no uh, there's a couple of things a player does need well here, we'll start this first. What you can do as a low level player is once you start getting a bunch of peer through your prestige and stuff like that, and let's say you have like 10 PBs, this is where you should actually be joining uh, the Planet Pit Discord and going in there. You get verified and stuff, they got an instruction video. So you basically get verified and then you are going to be able to start looking for trades now what i really suggest is going up to high prestige players and like for me like in my ender chest i got like two rows of mystics that like i'm willing to sell like 25 percent off 30 percent off basically quick sell them to get them out of my inventory for pure because i'm never going to use them so if you start going to these higher prestiges uh that are in these uh, trading servers they will probably sell to you good items for super cheap and basically uh, there's a couple of things you really need as a low level player getting into a higher level is once you build like 10 pbs you need like a lifesteal sword you can probably get a decent pair of regularity twos i would say that's all you need decent pair of reg twos for like two to four pvs you get that with like a, a lifesteal sword and then like a perune two or an xz two you can start to build up your net worth oh also another amazing way to build up your net worth is on genesis map is to just be completing all 
like I really suggest doing the demon faction and getting uh, Armageddon boots because those sell for a lot and they sell like you can almost sell to any high prez or anything like that that's a free pv and it's every once in a while though so it's not super worth it but basically yeah you guys need to be grinding out these pvs and don't you guys don't need to streak with these items that you get at first you don't need to be dropping down in a semi g set that you guys say like every single time what you need to do is build up your g set because then you're just draining lives and losing money and it basically loses its worth and i know that it's good to like want to play with these items and stuff but it's not worth uh losing it all right so now i'm gonna teach you guys actually what you need to buy you're gonna be needing to buy a good pair of reg twos you're gonna need to be able to buy a lifesteal so you can do like a lifesteal 3, fancy radar 3, I sold one for 3 PBs, uh, or like lifesteal 3, combo damage 3, I don't know, something, a good lifesteal. Uh, you should be looking at being able to buy like a prune 2. Uh, prune 2s are very solid in a lot of situations. Uh, you need to also work on buying regs and rgm i don't know if i mentioned regs but definitely rgm you can rgm two or three and then also uh try and get as much like high live mock sets or sweaty sets now they can be like uh they they can be plain it doesn't matter but if you're low prez eh, low prez i'd consider like five ish Anywhere around the 5 range. Uh, like under press 12. Anything under press 12, you should be grinding out. Like trying to build your G set as best as possible. Because uh, then you can start using assistant to streaker. So before press 12, start grinding out your G set. Uh, I suggest getting like high lives. So around like 20 lives plus. Uh, Mach 3. Uh, sword and Pants. Uh sweaty three sword and pants like i just sold sweaty three solid twos for like three fresh i enchanted them it's easy profit uh stuff like that solid is really good for outskirts streaking uh because before you press 12 you should really just be outside streaking no reason to try and do a mid uh, it won't really work out but that's those are the items you need to be looking for and uh like I just have like a whole ton of items that like I enchanted and I'm just trying to get rid of so I'd sell for super cheap. And then I just found this uh, mine chef for it, dude. He's selling Diamond Nodry 3, RGM 2, Boo Boo 2, Gem for 12 pure, which uh, as we talked about is like PVs and stuff. Super cheap, a combo damage 3, lifesteal 3, 3 pure, super cheap. Uh, repair kits which I actually bought the repair kit so was, he is no longer selling that but stuff like that or like I have a uh, gamble 3 gold boost 3 that's like 20 pbs I'm trying to sell for super cheap I'm trying to get rid of it uh, talked with the guy about selling it for 180 cactus and he backed out of the deal uh, so like I want to sell these items for cheap that's really good for streaking mid that's not good for streaking outside of mid but basically just look to these higher prestiges and like they most likely have items that you can buy for super cheap uh, for like G set items also if a high prez is enchanting uh, in your lobby then you can probably just sit there and like wait for them and they will drop you stuff nine times out of ten I just did a huge enchanting spree but yeah that's basically it for I want this to be like a whole series so this is part one I can go into like part or like different things so leave it in the comments what you guys actually want to know if you're a lower prestige tell me what you want to know if you're higher prestige leave advice for lower prestiges and stuff but this is actually my second time remaking this video because i just finished editing it and the video froze and just deleted so if you guys could leave a like a uh, comment and sub and stuff like that that would be amazing but I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Peace.